Welcome back to Babe's Art Class. Today, before we get started, I want to show you the results of our last class. We did the beautiful vines with flowers in the bright summery colors with the metallic gold. You know, it's done in yellows and oranges and corals. And if you're interested in purchasing this piece, you can go down to the description box and just email me and I'll send it to you before I put it up on Etsy. So today we're going to be doing a beautiful, delicate floral heart. And I'm going to start out with my base, which is white acrylic paint. One part to two parts of flood flow trawl to a half a part water. And that's how I'm mixing all my paints. I have festive green. I have lime sherbet, cerulean blue, metallic pearl purple, metallic pink tourmaline, fuchsia, and 24 karat gold. I know there's a lot of colors today, but we're going to be doing all different colored flowers. So we'll start with the base. Pour it on. And I like to try to save some of the base instead of making a terrible mess. As much as I love this, this art medium, it's very, very messy. But you just take the precautions and you're fine. You always put newspaper down and something on the floor to cover your rug or your floor. And I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. It covers very nicely. If you do spread it out with a palette knife and it doesn't look absolutely flat and even, this paint does seek its own level and it does flatten out very nicely. So that's our base that we're going to start with. So we're going to start adding colors. I'm going to start with... I'm actually going to start with the leaves. So I have the festive green, and this is also a metallic color. We'll start with the point of the heart. We're just going to be putting dots of color. The top of each of the heart. And then the bottom point. This is just to give us an idea of our shape. And we'll put a dot on each side. And here and there around the heart because we're going to be having leaves and flowers. So then on top of the festive green we'll put some lime sherbet and some cerulean blue. With paint pouring we're always going to be using more than one color. We put colors on top of each other. So there's the sh sherbet. Then we'll put some cerulean blue here and there. Then we'll start with colors for flowers. Let's start with the darker pink tourmaline. Just here and there, we'll be basically putting in a shape of a heart. And then we're going to use the fuchsia with that dark pink tourmaline color. Fuchsia on top. And 
we're going to put in some purple flowers. And these colors spread a lot, so you just want to put on a little bit. And we'll use more blue. Use our cerulean blue. Blue flowers are actually my favorite. And I actually have, I have some of the melon color left over from the painting I just showed you, the floral vines and the summer colors. And I'm going to put a little bit of this in because I'll use my dropper because I think this color is beautiful. It'll give us a little brightness in there. also have some yellow left over from the last painting. And this, of course, is the same formula. And I'm just going to squeeze out what I have left in here. And I'm going to pull some of this out. Bright yellow flowers always add a bit of sunshine to whatever you're painting. Pull a little more out. Okay. And then last but not least is we're going to add our 24 karat gold. Just here and there. Okay, good. So now I'm going to start, I'm going to use my straw. And I definitely need to tie the hair back. When you use your straw, we'll just start blowing it out. looking pretty so far. Now I see on this side it's coming in a little too much so I'm going to push it back. Okay and down here it's coming out too much. I'm just going to push it in a little bit. If it goes over the edge a little bit, that's fine. That's all part of the acrylic pour. 
painting. Okay, that looks really pretty. If you want any colors to mix a little more, you just go in and blow on it a little more. Some colors hide under the white paint. And I wanted a nice little point for the shape of the heart. So you can just create that with a straw. Now I'm going to take a skewer. Actually, I'm going to push this out a little more. We're going to take the skewer and start pulling out little tendrils here and there. Whenever you have flowers and leaves, well, it's always going to be little stems, little pieces of vine, little pieces of roots that are going to be sticking out. And I just think it's really cute <laughs> to add them in there. Okay, so. When you're doing your acrylic pour painting, and if you see something that you want out, you just go in with a little stick or a little palette knife and pull it out. Because like I said, this paint does level off, finds its own level. You know, sometimes something will fall into your piece while you're painting. So now I'm gonna hit it with a torch. And this breaks up any of the little air bubbles that are in there. And it helps cells to form in your paint. And I'll hold this up the best I can when I'm done and you'll be able to see there's lots of cells forming in here. Those are the little white holes you see everywhere. When you make your base, if you want cells, you can add a drop or two of the silicone oil. You can put it in, well, I usually put it in the colors, but not all the colors, just some, but that's up to you. This is the silicone oil. And yes, this painting has a lot of cells in it. Gives it a lot of texture, interest. Makes it very interesting to look at. So we're done. This is a pretty quick painting. And I'll hold it up. I don't want to tilt it too much because I don't want the paint to roll off of it. But isn't that beautiful? All the colors. It didn't take us too long. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it would be really pretty on other color colors of background also. You could use a light pink or a light green. Any of these colors done in light color could be used as a background. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you join, enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to hit subscribe. 
if you'd like to see more of my videos. And don't forget to try it. It's so much fun. I call it magic painting. All right, bye for now. Thank you.